Hi everyone, I'm Barbara Bray, and I'm really excited to be here at the Teacher Success Summit and thank Chuck Poole for all the work he's doing. I was really fortunate to be in the first Teacher Success Summit, and when he said that he's doing um, more and invited me, I was honored again. <laughs> it's, last time I was on, I talked about Define Your Why and some of the things that we were doing. And now, I, since I was there, I published my book, Define Your Why. And I also had a lot of events scheduled, book signings, and because of this coronavirus, everything was postponed or canceled. So I was feeling kind of sad for myself and then realized this is a worldwide crisis. All of us have something that's happening to us and I'm not unique in that. But I do know that um, I have a book and people have been reaching out to me and want to know about the resources, especially since I was going to be doing some workshops on it. So I created a website, um, a, a, some pages on my website with the resources for you. I also created some other resources and I want to share those with you because I think um, we're at a time now where all of us want to share, we want to learn from each other and we have time, most of us have time anyway, to try to figure out what we can do to help others but also to help ourselves. So let me um, share my screen. Okay, when you get to my website, my website is barbarabray.net. You'll see a slider with different graphics going by. And um, what I've tried to do is put up the resources for you there. And I'm going to hold on just a second. I had to let my cat out, <laughs> so I'm back. Um, well, one of the things I wanted to let you know is that I have several things on my website, barbabray.net, and what I did is the things I want to talk to you about are all on my website under resources on the home page. I want to go over resources around my book. I want to share with you the podcasts I have now, and I also have a website that has a lot of COVID-19 resources for educators, families, and at-home workers. So I wanna make sure I can get those to you and show them to you. So first, I wanna show you, you can either go here to get access to resources for my book, or you can go at the top, there is a pull-down menu, and it has all the chapters and everything available for you with questions. So on this first overview, it shares the 12 chapters. If you haven't received my book or got my book, um, you can. there are places where you can go to get it, but you don't have to. If you want to just go through some of the resources that are available, that's fine too. I'd like to thank my publisher, EduMatch, and Sarah Thomas, who is amazing, along with her team, who really helped me with my writing process and now to launch and market my book. It was just amazing. Have wonderful stories in my book. Every chapter has stories. There are 25 people with 26 stories and I'm so honored. The stories make everything um, just you know touches your heart and I put my story in but it just made it so it follows along with the story is goes with the subtitle own your story so you can live and learn on purpose your why and i'm thinking during this crisis we're all redefining our why so i some people have told me if you go all the way down you'll see all the chapters in the titles and they're all links to other pages so several people have come to me after reading my book and said i need to go over chapter six with you on Ikigai. So I'm just going to go there and just show you a little bit about what I have on, on this site. 
You see, every chapter has a little summary, and ikigai is, which the way it sounds is ikigai. It's a Japanese concept for the meaning of life. It has four elements, what you love, what you're good at, what the world needs, and what you're valued for. And so I put in resources, and if you have, don't have my book, you, some of these resources are in the book, some I added. I have a blog post that I put about the um, Ikigai, but there's also other videos that are available that kind of share what, what it means. And I did change it um, on where it said what you're valued for, said what you're paid for, but I really feel that with as educators, we, we may not get paid enough, but we want to feel like what we're doing is valued. And so um, I put in a lot of questions around each one of the elements. And I started talking to different people who are home now trying to figure out, you know, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm just missing my kids. I'm missing doing what I love. I'm not able to do it the same way. So I'm saying, what do you love? Start thinking about those things. What is it that you love? And brain, brainstorm some of the things that make your heart sing. What are you good at? Well, I've had some people say um, they've always wanted to play the piano. And I said, do you have a piano? And they said, yes. So I said, maybe this is the time to do it. My son, uh, Andrew, who is my sound designer on my podcast, is doing beekeeping and he's loving it. And you never know other things that will come out. What does the world need? I have a whole chapter on the UN Sustainable Development Goals. There's a lot of things that, because we're part of the world crisis, we're learning a lot about different parts of the world now and how they're handling this crisis. It's, it's just like, maybe we need to open up what is happening globally that we can act locally or even for ourselves and your own value. So I want to just have you think about these things. Um, and if you get a chance to go through all the different chapters or if you have my book and you have any questions, you can reach out to me. There's a contact form on the side. You can look at that. So let me go to the podcast. My podcast, I started it in 2017 with the idea of having conversations with is people who inspire me, uh, other educators, difference makers. And now I'm up to 96 and I have eight more to put up and, I, and more on the way. So the podcasts themselves are all listed by episode here, the last one at the top. I am also doing some reflections. So those are in there, but I want to take you to the bottom, all the way to the bottom because that's where I have links to all of the episodes post. Every podcast has a post. And I wanted to make sure that people could get to those. So let me just click on um, the latest one. See if you look through, there's, there's a lot of people, you might know some of them and they're all just amazing. And what they did is they helped me build the post together. So I'm gonna to go to Jennifer Apples because she was the last uh, that I have up. We put together a graphic around some of the colors that go with some of the theme with a title that she liked with a quote that she said, ways to reach her. And then the podcast is also on the post along with pictures, her story. Um, and some of the story I left out. So you'd we, you'd learn more about her on the podcast, but she also shared pictures of her innovation center. She showed me the, um, took me on a tour of it. And I said, you got to put those up. It's amazing. This is where her kids, um, and Hans Apple is also on my show. That's her husband where they, the kids have a student led podcast and this is where they do it. it it's just amazing. And like I said, all of the people that have been sharing their stories, all of them have shared so much with me that I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. And I'm so fortunate to be the one to have these podcasts with them and have these conversations. So 
The last one I want to show you is, let me just go back. And <clears throat> there, there's these resources, the COVID-19 resources. I, I opened it up here. This is a uh, curated resources by me and other colleagues, but Dr. Cynthia Sistek Chandler has been going in and working with me, putting in vetted resources from universities and some other places. But I wanted to let you know what's here. It's, it's, there's a lot here. The first one <clears throat> is how you deal with uncertainty. How do you cope now? So, there were um, my ther you know, there were therapists and there were uh, psychologists that were sharing resources. So we put those up, but teachers were putting things up. What do you do for your mental health when, you, when you're going through this right now? Then uh, some others were, um, oh, I, I'll just show you this because there's so many here. My granddaughter and I FaceTime and she's been doing virtual trips. So I asked her some ideas and then it started growing. So these are actual webcams at, um, they're at gardens, they're um, in the forest, they're at zoos, they're in all different places. And so a lot of these will be growing. We're adding these more every day. And then my granddaughter decided, she started, she's 12, uh, she's starting to do um, reviews for me of different programs that she's using. And maybe we'll get some more reviews from kids. But I wanted to just share with you some of the fun things that I'm doing. And um, so I want to thank you for coming by <laughs> and learning about some of these resources and knowing that I didn't let you go about my book because I know some of you were saying, when are you going to come and talk to me? So I'm talking to you. <laughs> I want you to be able to have access to these resources and I'll keep growing uh, the COVID-19 resources while we're in this crisis. And I have a feeling that um, because of the way people are connecting, we're all gonna be connecting more. So thank you again to Checkpool for all the work you're doing. Thanks and please enjoy the Teacher Success Summit with all of the people that are here. You're going to find that there's um, a lot of people sharing not only their resources, but their heart. And that's what we wanna do is be there for each other. So thank you, stay safe, be well, and I'll talk to you again, I hope. Anyway, bye for now.